Welcome to the new Urban Civilage, the RMIT's Docklands Media Precinct. This project presents my proposition on the future learning environment, a sticky campus that is designed for one to experience themselves rather than offering the experience to those entering the campus. The idea of Civilage is a merge of two opposing qualities of space, the first being a modern academic street located to the heart of the campus which was generated by occupying the spaces formed beneath the vertical staircase terrain. The second type is a natural and domestic learning space. The body of this campus was developed by combining the two procedural experiments, a vertical terrain generated by the staircase as a type, and also a domestic learning axis formed by a traditional housing typology known as CH1 which was developed by transforming building space on a roofed growth system. In a learning environment, the advantage of a vertical terrain was to generate a theater learning space for a media school, which enhances vision and also the engagement between students and tutors. It is also used in this project to divide the experience between a natural cozy space and the busy modern city space. The domestic learning axis, on the other hand, consists of several aligned CH1 buildings located throughout the campus. Its housing typology, small scale, and materiality are factors contributing to the atmosphere of studying at home, despite it being a learning space. The interface with Central Academic Street is shielded with a turn in direction, forming a threshold where the modern campus space is hidden behind the cover of a natural terrain and that turns aims to shift the experience from one to another. These axes are all pointing towards the central building as generated by the clash of buildings. Each axis is identified by a similar program type which means that each learning space shares a similar interest and are therefore linked together as smaller communities that are like houses in a suburban landway. With the idea of Civilage, my proposal for a sticky canvas space was to form a community that is inclusive for all people by establishing a friendly and comfortable study environment that aims to suit their vast preferences, and most importantly, providing them the options to study in their most preferred space. The campus consists of a diverse scale of learning space and also an opposing mood between a busy city atmosphere and the natural domestic. The reason to this approach is also to shift from the monotone experience that past campus buildings may have, leading to students becoming less willing to stay for a long time. Apart from materiality, another factor that contributes to the domestic feeling is the low veranda space that forms a protective shelter and also encouraging students to stop by and spectate activities happening inside the building. Going upwards, the space is mostly covered in natural green spaces, providing another type of experience for informal study, relaxation, and also viewing points for activities happening within the main building through digital screens. This upper level is a special point that when sitting on the green space, the activities happening below cannot be seen. It is only by standing close to the railings and viewing the academic street below that the clash of two different experiences becomes evident. This upper level also presents itself during the day as the quieter space of the campus and is open for free use. Another process that led to the rearrangement of staircase during development 
was to use it as a shelter for each axis from its neighboring axis or the adjacent street, so that the entry to each axis appears smaller and more private. With framed courtyard spaces that can sometimes function as an outdoor learning space. During nighttime, the campus reflects a stronger sense of city life, with the academic street being a center for activities such as esports and digital presentations, and the surrounding domestic axes become silent study spaces. The academic street has the main purpose of being an exhibition street throughout the campus, inviting the public to walk through and become part of the campus activity. This is accompanied by a series of small-scale learning spaces and cafes, which some are directly exposed to the city street experience. From the plan, it shows this opposite ends, where the large and small learning spaces apply to both the domestic and civic learning areas, and this adds back to the idea of an inclusive community, where the more diverse experience a campus has, the wider the range of people would feel invited. Another example is seen in the section, where the long section shows a series of axial buildings, and then the short section reveals how buildings are connected in some axes to generate a larger space. The axis that meets the academic street now becomes the modern interior shopfronts, which presents the transition that opposes the Cedar One exterior from the outside street view. The classrooms here also assist in amplifying the overall modern experience of the academic street. The future RMIT Dokpan Media Precinct, New Urban Civilage, generates a new community which is defined in two ways. The first being the stronger community formed between students by designing smaller scale learning spaces, and also the second being the idea of inclusiveness of the community as a whole, with the vast learning spaces welcoming all people into the campus, and for people to discover it. Their favorite locations to study in or engage with. Thank you for listening. 